OMG, not the slow loading. Oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. Hello. Happy Wednesday. I think my computer is a little sleepy today. That's the vibe I'm getting. Amanda Ferd, Ferd in chat. I come up with a new panic spelling of first every week. You really do. I like the D in, in it this time. It's usually forced. If she got the I correct, it's just the D. BRB getting wine. You have two buck chuck today. Hell yeah, good choice. I had some, um, it's not two buck chuck, but very cheap Trader Joe's white wine earlier. I had a really nice lunch. I made these uh, soy chorizo tacos. They're so good. You have the red blend, nice. Yeah, it's nice and uh, overcast, at least where I am today. And it is a later start to the stream today. It's four o'clock instead of two. Um, so thank you guys for bearing with me. And actually the gardeners are here right now, which is funny, but I don't think you can hear them because they're on the other side of the apartment, but it is Wednesday nonetheless, and we are here to definitely beat this game today. We're stuck in that laboratory at the end of the game where you have to uh, activate a rocket from what it looks like. It's literal rocket science, and it's defeated me like twice now, or maybe just once. This game's taking us a long time. I think we've been playing this for like four weeks now, but I've honestly loved it a lot, so I'm not mad at it, but definitely ready to move on, so... And I want to see how this one ends. It's been pretty good story-wise, so... I just have three puzzles in there that I have to do today, so... Hopefully that doesn't take us too long. I do have a walkthrough on my phone open because... Um, yeah, we're at that point. This might be the game we've spent the most time on, if I had to guess. I can't believe there's some that we beat in one sitting. This is not one of those games, so... But uh, I will miss it. I have the lights very dim in my room and my fairy lights on, all cozy. Yeah, it feels so good to be in a hoodie today. I'm cozy too. I feel it. It's so nice. I really love this weather. Even the really cold weather, like when it's in the 40s, I'm still happy. Alright, let's hop on over. Um, but how have you been, Amanda? What's new with you? How is life? Bust that banshee? What's up, Sunny? I knew you would love that. I honestly, when I typed it, I read it in your voice. We are busting the banshee today. I hope we can do it quickly. Those puzzles in that laboratory are so brutal. Don't even try to talk to me right now for real. <laughs> Goodness. Sunny ain't having it. Um, Sunny, Sunny. Sunflower. All right. Let's hop over. Let's get into this. Let's see. I'm gonna have to figure out what order I'm gonna do these puzzles in. I guess I'll just follow. Okay, I'll figure it out. All right, let's let's do this. Do 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 do. All right. There. It's like we never left, chat. Here we are. I went to Whole Foods with my mom today. Groceries should never be that much. I was like, Mama, you are wild for paying this. Additionally, she's wild for going to the grocery store the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like, chat, I can't even explain to you guys uh, how, how work has been for me the last five days at my big box grocery store that's not to be named. Um, insane. So yeah, props to you for surviving as well as a customer. But I don't have to be back there till Friday, which is nice. And Friday is Black Friday. Not busy for grocery. So that's nice. But it's a whole day of processing donations and like unsaleables. We don't throw everything out. We donate it. But we just have to process all of it. And we, we're closed on Thanksgiving. So the next day there's so much work to catch up work. But whatever. This, it's literally our bread and butter. Literally. So you got to do it. BB and I've been praying for you. You guys are the best. Thank you. Honestly, for at least where I am, the pay is good and I'm happy. So if, if the benefits and pay weren't good, it would be a different story, but I'm okay. And I guess the plus side is the time's going by really fast. My boss is really happy with me and I feel like I'm in good shape. I've been lifting and running around, so I'm not even mad. I've just been doing nothing. That's what, what the cost of it is on my body is after work, I do nothing. I just literally get in bed and make dinner 
BB was full dad protective. Oh yeah, definitely big on self care. Are the cicadas there or Nancy Drew? They're in the game. Hell no. We don't have cicadas in California. I don't think so. That would be a bit much. A bit much for me, mate. Alright, here we are. So... This is... Okay. We have to move all of these different elements into different categories. And I had it written down of which to do. So we just have to sort them. Yeah, it is literal rocket science. Big buzz. Let me know if the sound is too loud. I've never experienced a cicada in real life. I'm keeping it that way. Yeah, they're, they are terrifying. They're like big crunchy bugs. Pretty scary. Oh, the sound's okay. I'm just high. You do you, Sunny. This uh, puzzle is so crazy, guys. It's like Operation on Crack. Women in STEM for real? What about cicadas in STEM? Okay. So category one, we have NH3. What? Hello. So nice to see you, J-Puff. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Big crunchy bugs. Big crunchy hugs. Do you guys remember that arcade game where it's like the spider crunching game? I was obsessed with that when I was a kid and I think that's where I get like crunchy bugs from. Okay, so we got this. This one also goes in category one. You don't remember that, Sunny? It's like you hold on to a bar, kind of like Dance Dance Revolution, but there's all these buttons that light up on the ground and they're all spiders. And you have to like, they light up and you have to stomp on them and you're timed. And the, yeah, I was like obsessed as a kid. All right, how do I drop it? Do I just... <laughs> okay, I guess I don't do it that in quite that manner. That's where my arachnid anxiety began. Oh snap, not the source. I'm not going straight to the source of the trauma. I did Evan's laundry once and he's allergic to my detergent. Oh no. Oh, the boxers. That sucks. I'm sorry. Okay, but if H goes into category one, why did I blow myself up? Let's see if they give me a hint here. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about anything super helpful, but it does say that to recommend doing the right side first to clear space. Okay, so I see two NH3s here. Hives on weenie? Brand new sentence. Hives on weenie. Okay, so there's some multiples. Oh, I see. Like, there's a ton of little H's. Okay. Nancy got nuked. She really did. Hives on weenie. Okay. Oh my god. My whole goal with this is to not have you guys sit through too many death scenes. The pressure is so high. Yeah, she is. She did his, she did his laundry and he's allergic to her detergent. Pretty tragic story. Oh my gosh. Like this? So, how far do I have to put in here? What? Uh, she really did say hives on weenie. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Like, I can't set it down. Am I missing something? It just says move in the bin and drop it. That's what I did. Let's see. <laughs> F in chat for the weenies. Every cloud has a silver lining, except a cloud of chemicals. True. 
Okay. Oops. Hey, Brady, you the bomb? Thank you. Sunnybub said, firmly grasp it. Um, well, I'm definitely grabbing it correctly because I can move it. But yeah, the letting go is the hard part. Letting go is always hard, Chad. <laughs> I'm not good at it in real life or in video games. All right, so... This one that I have, I need to take it over to the left to category one. So that's our goal right now. So it's here. Slept on a Lego. Hello. Let it go indeed. That's been the theme of my week. Okay, it says drop it inside the bin. So... Is... How am I supposed to... <laughs> the controls are hard. It's not clear to me how to release. It's kind of like operation. It's very... You can't touch the sides. Amanda, my panda. It's so nice to see you, Lego. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Or Thursday, depending on where you are in the world. Alright, let's go. Maybe just keep going forward? Okay, let's try. Egos really were so good. The pinnacle of frozen waffles. Alright, so we're all the way inside now. <laughs> so, should I just release? How? How? Okay. Here's my dilemma, chat. If I drive this thing forward, if I click this here, the tongs are gonna open, and I feel like I'm gonna die because the tongs probably shouldn't touch the side. Release it outside? Okay. Nope. I am as usual in Germany. It's already Thursday. Happy Thursday. We're still dragging it along, dragging Wednesday out over here. It's only 4 p.m. in California. All right. So weird how it blew up like Hmm. It says move it inside the bin and drop it. But apparently the second chances start at the end of your last chemical. So if I start making progress here, I don't think it's gonna make me redo it every time. Hmm. Chocolate chip egos were the ones put Nutella on them. I love Nutella, it's been too long. Dude, so good. Very good on waffles and pancakes. Firmly grasp it. All right. I'm so afraid. <laughs> So the thing is that there's one, two, three, four, five, six chemicals that go in here. So I think I have to literally deposit them as if it's like, you know, a book return box or something inside the library. So I go all the way in. There's no like release button. <laughs> Clocked off of work? Hell yeah. Mod said we eating out until our vacay. That is so exciting. When is the vacation? When do you leave? You don't want to go to the grocery store? It's smart. It's self-care. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. It worked. It worked. Huge pog. Okay. It worked. Yay. Okay. So, yeah. We just pushed it all the way back. Okay. All right. Cool. This just takes a lot of focus. All right, well, let's see if it's true. It's gonna not make me redo it entirely. I had to Google what an Eggo is because we don't have that stuff here. I thought you guys were talking about actual eggs. 
Ego is a very funny brand name indeed. I assume the waffles are made with eggs or something. I don't know why they named it that. What's your favorite breakfast food, Lego? <sighs> okay, here we go. Got it? All right, here we go. We're driving all the way in. And opening. All right, we did it. Hmm, we need N-A, which I don't even see. Am I missing it? Do I have to make it? I don't even see it. Isn't that potassium? You got a system going right now? Birdie and STEM, mix it up. Is there an N? Do I have to like, are they gonna make me do alchemy again? Oh my gosh. Hang on. Yeah, I think I do. If I I wonder if I walk backwards if it'll delete the progress. No, it looks like it kept my progress. That's nice. Puff nose chemistry. How do I make is potassium Na? What two things would I combine here to make that? Na is sodium. Okay, <laughs> the other potassium. Na is sodium. Are there two compounds here that would make that? Potassium is K. I would say I was close, but I, I like kind of wasn't. Um, cause yeah, I don't. K is dead center. Um, yeah, I need to get that one. So I need to move some of these. What about what about the Na though? What would what would your advice be? Let's see if I can dig out um, the K. I don't think I'm missing a piece. I'm pretty sure everything I need is here. The uh, the walkthrough doesn't indicate that there's something I need to get first. Um, the whole goal of this puzzle, by the way, at the top, uh, this round piece is a key. And we need that. So we have to solve this puzzle to get back there. There is a periodic table, yeah. I'm not too big on breakfast. I like what's called st Strammer Max here. It's a bread roll with a scrambled egg, sometimes an omelet and a few slices of ham. That sounds bomb. I love like a breakfast sandwich or a breakfast roll or a baguette. Okay. So this is our category one. Sodium is Na, just like J-Puff said. Um, but like, why isn't it present? Well, excuse uh -huh. me, princess. Thank you so much for the follow. Platypus, hello, welcome. Isn't it just the rules of what can be stored together? Not what has to be stored together? You might be onto something there. So maybe I should ignore the ones that I don't see? Maybe it's that simple? We can try that approach. Um, okay, so let's go grab that K then. It's so nerve-wracking. It's like the Hurt Locker. <clears throat> oh no. I jinxed myself. I never liked playing Operation when I was a kid. It was too much pressure. And electricity, live electricity in a child's toy is terrifying. <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. Okay. Maybe the walkthrough is for senior? That's true. Dang. They're just making me feel like Weenie Hut Jr. 
Literally. Not Weenie Hut Senior. So I just want to move this one a little. Weenie Hut Junior extra hives, please? I can't. Gotta teach kids the meaning of anxiety as early as possible. For real. I mean, it started early. One of my birthday parties when I was really small, like probably five years old or less, she I loved Barney, the TV show, and she thought it would be a great idea to have someone dressed up as Barney come to my house. And I didn't come out of my room for like the whole party because I was so scared. Uh, I had major anxiety about people dressed up. I was like, it's, it seemed very unnatural, you know? So that backfired. But all my friends had a really good time. I just couldn't hang. If I move one more to the left, I'm gonna blow up. I know it. Maybe... Yeah, I really do need to move this one. Let's try something different and move it this way. Just for now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's okay. All the neighborhood kids got to play with Barney while you hid. I remember- Mom took a picture of me looking out the window. I was just watching everybody. <laughs> but yeah, the neighborhood kids, when they saw Barney literally walking to my house, they were freaking out. The Jeopardy. I- seriously. This game saved the hardest puzzles for the very end, I have to say. Why- why can't I just drop it there? I cannot. Remember that awesome birthday party of yours? No. Ay ay ay. Alright, let's see. Apparently I can't drop them? I thought I could move them though. I thought there's like probably no penalty to set them down somewhere. Because over here, to the right, it's wide open. So... Yeah, it won't let me set it down. That's weird. We're just gonna have to keep trying, chat. Don't go dropping chemicals. I wonder if I can't move them, I can only deposit them in the appropriate categories. To be fair, there are some birthday parties I've had in my 20s, which I don't remember, but for other reasons. This year for my birthday, I actually didn't do anything. It was the first time I've felt like that, that I wanted to do nothing, and it was so nice. Oh, hi. Hang on. Mel is here. I think she wants to say hi. Let's see if I can get One Melly. <sighs> Let me switch over. There. Say hi, Melly. She was just sleeping. Meow, meow. She's a big sleepy girl. I get so lazy. She's a cutie. She's been really loving the cold weather. Okay. All right, baby. All right, let's go. She's just chilling here. Sometimes all you need is a fat chill. Yeah, I really did this year. But I just went to Disneyland, so I was n I was totally fine doing nothing on my birthday. I can only do so much these days before I get burnt out. <laughs> all right. So Hi, Millie. We need that K that's up there. But this BR is in the way. I'm positive I can move these and drop them off. I just, maybe it doesn't want me to do it down here. Like, let's try a lateral move. No.
The older I get, the more I just want to cram delicious food in my mouth and not be bothered for my birthday. Dude, seriously. I always request the day off work. Every single year I do that because there's no way I'm going to work on my birthday. But I'm starting to not make plans. And it's okay. Mel is a rocket scientist in training, for real. She's here. She's out here, representing. I'm just happy she woke up. I thought she'd for sure be asleep for the whole stream. Alright, why won't it let me move them around? What's up with that? That, like, concerns me. I'm finally paying attention. Is the puzzle just to put things in certain categories? Yes. But not all of them are necessary. And so my current problem is figuring out how to move them. So these metal arms on this tong thing, if they touch anything, we explode. And right now it seems like if I drop, if I just try to relocate these, the game won't let me put them down. It's like, that's how I grab. So I'm trying to clear a path. So like right here, I would like open the tong to, to let it, to set it down, but I feel like it's gonna blow up. It's weird. But unfortunately, it makes you watch this death credit every single time. Let it go in the bin? Oh. Oh. Hang on. Maybe, yeah, maybe these all do need to go somewhere. Because H is listed in category 1, so all of the H's would go in there. Okay. Infinite Puff Wisdom. Okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense, because the game was not letting me move them, so it wants me to use all of them. Thinking with your big brain. Category 1 for H. Okay. All the way in. You are so right. Hell yeah. Mel is adorable. I know, she's like perfect in the perfect position right now. Her little ears. Are your cats chilling with you right now? She was looking right in the camera. Love her so much. We're making so much progress. Um, so this, the letter I, this one goes in category two. Hmm. Oh god. I goes in category two. Let's see if it'll let us drive in here. I think we can. I think I can. Oh dear. It worked. <laughs> The controls are archaic? Dude, so they really are, like, just saying, Mel, out of my headphone cord. Um, this, this is, like, unnecessarily brutal, this puzzle. Um, a few streams ago, when we got into this dungeon area, I was so ready to beat the game. We found the guy who's been missing for the whole game. We saw the villain, like, face to face, and then... I got faced with these puzzles, and I was like, no, this isn't going to happen as quickly as I wished. But today's the day, for sure. At least if you die, they don't make you restart. They start you from your last uh, element deposited, which is really nice. I appreciate that. H2O goes into the second category. I hope I can fit into this entryway. Oh dear. I have my doubts. Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. It won't let me open the tongs. Because this one that's in the way needs to go to the third category. I can't drive that up there right now. Bub is in Puff Slap. Remy's sleeping downstairs. Aw. Mel is firmly um, planted in my lap now. Hmm. 
Okay, so the H2O we can't fit in there. So we won't think about that yet. NH3 goes into category one. I don't know if we can grab that right now. Oops. I'm sorry, chat. I apologize for how many times you guys are going to have to watch this. <laughs> Utabomb.com Sunny and J-Puff, when, when do you guys leave for your trip? When's your next trip? I forgot if you uh, answered me already, but I asked earlier. Because I forget what you guys are doing. Oh no. It's not time for Disneyland, is it? Alright, let's be careful. I can't. When all you got is a flute and one single scent. I'm gonna miss the struggle flute in our next game. It is Disney time. I'm so jealous. And you guys get to eat out every day until Disney. You guys are living the dream. This goes into category three. Maybe we could move this H. This is terrifying. Okay. This we're gonna move over. And you guys are going with the newlyweds too, how cute. BR goes up top. The NH3 I feel like we might be able to get. Let's see if we can. Scary. We're going on our big 30th birthday Disney trip on Sunday. Three days at Disney, one day Universal. We're going to have Thanksgiving leftovers after tomorrow. Hate me some white folk turkey. I wish you guys were here for the Mexican Thanksgiving I'm going to tomorrow. Evan is refusing to confirm or deny hives on weenie. He says he's itchy. Think we can confirm. Turkey sucks. We're having steak. Interesting. Let the turkeys live, she says. I miss those Cali peeps. They are the best homies. Hi, Millie. You can't be this cute when I'm trying to work. Yeah, see? She's in my lap, but looking up at me with her big green eyes, it's too much. Watching me blow myself up for the 50th time. Okay. Maybe it's not, maybe I can like, grab it with this. I really don't think so. This game really goes out with a bang, indeed. It really does. Can I just, okay. On God, Big Bang. There's this puzzle and then there's also the wires. Do you remember the wire puzzle, Sunny, that you were helping me with last time? It was quite a lot. The H2O, I can't even fit in there. We've tried, right? The answer isn't the H2O. I'm probably just eating mashed potatoes, gravy, and pecan pie. Maybe the green bean casserole. I'll let you know. I'll do a scene report of what I what I eat tomorrow. I'll let you know. If you want. I will be eating bread. Just bread, Sunny? I'm hyped for cranberry sauce. Dude, I love cranberry sauce. Look up a YouTube video? That would mean admitting defeat. <laughs> I 
My plate will be 89% bread. You just love bread so much. Bread is incredible though, I have to say. Sunnybub is Paul Hollywood. I'm determined to make this NH3 work. How did that clip the one on the right? You deserve a handshake for that. Millie. Of course, now I want to, like, move my legs, but the cat, I can't. NH3 has a name, Ammonia. Put some respect on Ammonia's name. It doesn't let me... Oh, okay. Whew. All right, very scary. So the, this one, I grabbed it. It goes to category one. Do, 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 do. Ammonia, cool. Very cool. Wow. Ammonia all night long, am I right? Said no one ever. You know what's funny? I mean, it's not like funny, but when people like clean their bathrooms and mix like bleach and ammonia and have all the windows closed and pass out, it happens a lot. It's dangerous, dangerous to mix chemicals, folks. This one can go into category two. All right, let's go get the eye. I hate this so much. Okay, there we go. We did it. Right? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna save. Save check. Yeah, you die. I was obsessed with that fun fact as a kid. My grandma did that once. I would tell my camp counselors all the time not to mix bleach ammonia. I was a weird one. Would you just tell them that out of context, like, all the time? That's incredible. I heard a little kid at my store shopping with her mom call the whipped cream shaving cream and the mom kept trying to correct her and she was so insistent that it was shaving cream. She's like, you put it on your face. She's like, no, you don't. Not this one. She's like, yeah, I see you do it all the time. Uh, this goes into category one. Life's adventure. Hello. So nice to see you. Welcome to the hive. Amanda gave me hives. I know she was telling us. Eco bioterrorism, even. All right, let's see if I can grab. But I'm sending prayers to your skin. I got a uh, poison oak a few times, really bad as a kid, and it was like so scary, awful. The mom was using the whipped cream as shaving cream. Oh my god, that sounds so bad for your pores. This is hell on earth. Okay, where can I put the F? Category three. Oh my god. All right, hang on. I'm gonna try a risky maneuver here. This is like fast and furious mode for this. But it paid off. All you need is family. All right, so ooh, let's grab this and take it up top. Now that we have a clear pathway. It'd be fun to do like a Discord movie night one night where we watch a Fast and Furious movie together. Chat. I've never seen one, but I think that we could enjoy it together. Oh my god. We did it. All right, cool. On the weenie, I heard. I have no idea what's going on in the game, but you're happy to be here. Thank you so much. We're actually at the end of a game. 
where um, this whole game takes place in a castle days before a wedding and then the groom disappears and there's also a banshee flying around scaring everybody so it's like a haunted castle with a disappearance and we basically got jumped by the banshee and thrown into um, an underground lab which is where we are right now and we found the missing groom locked away so the banshee seems to have kidnapped both of us we still don't know who the ghost is I assume it's not a real ghost but we don't really know rumors are that it's a an old relative. It's a banshee with a jetpack. This game, if I start to explain it, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. But I think we're in for a good conclusion. So you came in at a really good time because we're almost done. And it's going to be great. How, um, let's see. I'm scared. We did it. This one goes into category one. Just sometimes with these Nancy Drew games, when you're working on a puzzle, it gets so um, monotonous, you know? Like for me, I'm using all my brain power right now, but for you guys, you're like listening to the most repetitive robot noises. <laughs> so thank you for being troopers. But it's about to get really good because once we beat this, we get to watch the end and then we get to start a brand new one and that'll be fun. This is probably the most boring it'll be all day, hopefully. After this, we have to actually start up a rocket, so I have no idea. Slander, I said I was sorry, damn. <laughs> I went a long time without dying. This ain't even boring, okay, good. That's the goal. But this game has been so much fun. I've actually really enjoyed it a lot. Lots of unexpected crap happening. The jetpacks. All the music. The banshees. Alright, H2O goes into the second category. Mel, what are you doing? She's like, she just closed my um, walkthrough with her paw. Drink some water? Thank you. Ooh, Steam Sale. Thank you for the heads up. Amanda, you would love Coral Island? Ooh. Three of my four wishlist games are on sale. I'm gonna have to check that out after stream. I get paid tonight, too. Alright. Thank you, Mel, for closing what I was working on. She literally closed the window. Hang on. I saw her little paw outstretch. Okay, here we go. I found it. You silly girl. How is it that cats get away with everything? Let me see if I can take a picture of what she's doing. <laughs> Ridiculous. She moved. <sighs> Maybe I'll ask for it for Christmas. I've been playing it so much. Oh, nice, Sunny. That's cool. I know Hylian's been playing a ton of it as well. Um, two things, guys. If you were here when we played um, Danger by Design, the Nancy Drew game that takes place in France, a character in that game made mint chocolate chip cookies, and they looked so good. And I told a friend at work about it, and she loves to bake. And I said it would be cool if we made these with, like, Andy's mints instead of chocolate chips. She made them for me, and they were so good. Like, so chewy and delicious, and, like, I, I pretty much died. Um, there was an... Oh, yeah, and then a coworker let me borrow Mario Wonder. So I, I'm in possession of Mario Wonder right now, and I'm terrified. But I'm going to try it out tonight or tomorrow off stream. I've, I'm not a Mario player, so we'll see. But I'm excited. Mod makes choc mint chocolate chip cookies. When are you going to make me some, Sunny? What the heck? I want. But my favorite thing is going to work and coming home with like, you know, cookies and Nintendo games and stuff. Like all of us there, we're all like pretty close and we all share stuff. It's pretty nice. It makes this hellish existence more enjoyable. All right, let's see if I can 
firmly grasp this. Nope. I thought you didn't like the sweets. Okay, I do have a soft spot for, like, cake and cookies. I have to admit. I don't care for, like, smaller sweets, like macaroons or, like, cupcakes. But, like, mint, especially mint. Mint chocolate chip cookies. If cookies are, um, squishy, soft cookies, I could eat so many. It really doesn't want me to grab this one up here. Okay, we got it. Got him. Alright, then we can take this BR all the way up there to that last category. TJ's cheesecake, so good. So good. You're still thinking about the cheesecake? We've uh, carried that. It's been at work for so long. And it's always been so good. I don't know if I can make it in here. I'm so scared. <gasps> it let me go. Okay, good. Oh my gosh. These archaic controls, chat. Get in line, J Puff said. Which game should I buy on sale? Sekiro, Final Fantasy VII Remake, God of War, Lies of P. I've played one and three on PS4, but you want to repl replay them on PC. What sounds more fun? Playing something new and a totally new experience, or seeing what a, a familiar experience feels like on PC. So if you, I don't know, for me, I always like a new game, so I would say you should do like Final Fantasy and like lose yourself in it. Lies of P is good too, I've heard. My, my instinct would be to do three or four, or two or four. Yeah, I would say new game, especially while they're on sale. I just recommended God of War to a, a friend, a coworker is getting a PS5 for his birthday. He doesn't know yet though. His girlfriend was asking me, and I was like, I'm pretty sure that game is incredible. I would say Final Fantasy. That was the first thing that jumped out at me. Amanda's a huge Final Fantasy fan. This goes into the first one. Yes. Hello, Millie. So cute. I'm so happy she's hanging out with me. Misty's sleeping in my closet, I think. Alright, this little F. No Fs in the chat. F goes to category 3. Can I grab this HG? HG goes to category 3. I don't know if I can grab it, actually. Oh my god, it's too close. Freaks me out. I'm still dead at archaic controls. Let's grab this while we're up here. This goes to two. We're moving, chat. Things are happening. I found Lies of P to be a bit tedious, but if you're a hardcore fan of Souls-like games, you'll like it. I, as far as I know, J-Puff loves Souls-like. I mean, he loved Sekiro so much. Didn't you like 100% that game, J-Puff? I played Final Fantasy X soundtrack when you were here. Yes, it was very magical. Mod could pull off a Tifa cosplay because she toned tan fit and ready. I am deceased. Something something because it's getting heavy. You really love Sekiro? I've never played a Dark Souls game, but I'd be willing to try. I have played Elden Ring, and I made it like halfway through before I lost my mind. Okay. Let's go for P in category 1.
band. Perhaps get more than one game? Two games. Ah, ah, ah. I say get all the games. Locks? Is that... J-Puff, is this the element for smoked salmon? Locks? This one goes into category bagel, am I right? I will see myself out. It goes in the category two. All right, I think we can grab this K. Got him. Puff deserve sit. <laughs> I love salmon. I haven't had it recently. Amanda, what's wrong? Gotta get yourself some salmon. Locks. Liquid oxygen, also known as live orangutan xylophone. <laughs> also works on bagels. I like that liquid oxygen is locks. Like, that's very intuitive. I like it. Sometimes I wonder if the devs for this game added puzzles like this just to add hours to the gameplay so you can't say it's a short game. But are you really having fun? I digress. We're almost done. Category 3. Let's come collect our F here. The one F I have to give. <laughs> And I blew myself up. Can't squeeze it that tight, I guess. When I rage at Nintendo games, Nintendo, I'm not having fun. Literally. Nothing like raging at, like, Animal Crossing. I've, I've even been there. All kinds of Nintendo rage. Or Mario Kart rage is a whole nother story. But Super Smash Brothers is even worse. I can only imagine... This one into the third. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. We're seriously almost there. I hope I don't regret this. Wreck! <laughs> Love me some Smash Bros. If I ever did Smash on stream, J Puff, let's be honest, you would lose your mind because you wouldn't like how I play. <laughs> and I play in a very like survival sort of way. I don't have strategies. I feel like it would probably piss off a lot of professional Smash types because I'd just be vibing. I do have fun with it though. Okay, this one goes to the second one. I'm chill, I'm chill. The potential of Mario Party and Mario Kart to end friendships is too damn high, for real. It gets really ugly. Somehow, I have a very close friend who plays Mario Party with me like several times a month online. She's very competitive and we play like 30 round turns several times a month, but we always keep it civil and we have certain rules like we play against two computers and you always kill the computers first in mini games. Like we target each other only if we have to. We don't steal from each other. It's really funny. But you also have to take it in stride when it does happen because, you know, it's a competition. I'm not here to make friends. Like they say on all reality TV shows. I'm not here to make friends. Having fun in games? Yeah, it could not be me. 
It is your account pool. Ours. Human versus computer. Okay, so me and my friend also put the computers on the highest difficulty, which is so painful, but we do it because we want to get better. But they're so good at mini games, it's honestly painful. It's soul crushing, even. <laughs> we blame AI for all our problems. Oh my gosh, you guys, we did it. We did it. Let's go grab this key. This is it, baby. Creepy. Got the key. Alright, um... Trying to remember what had been locked up. No, I don't think I need that. It's not the dude, is it? Feel like talking? <laughs> this is the groom can't I was talk. talking about. Too hungry. Can't talk too hungry. Feel like talking? I don't feel like talking anymore. Feel like talking? I don't feel like talking anymore. <laughs> Alright. He's not into this. Um, let's see. What had been locked up? I can't access this little side panel here. I took the stuff from the shelf here already. Let's see. So this is terrifying. This is how we get the rocket going. It's like our launch pad. Oh, this is the key to launch the rocket. Goodness. All right. Let's do the wires puzzle. Did I finish it? Like, is this me being done with it? Hopefully it's correct. I think it is correct. I think we did finish this. Okay, we have the correct rocket fin going. Let's see. We did a lot of this stuff already. Can't talk too hungry. Me 30 minutes after lunch break. The checklist. Amanda, I haven't even looked at my checklist in so long. It's like I don't even know who I am anymore. Love the Virgo telling me to look at my checklist. Because you're right. Did that. Do, do, do. All done. Do, 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 do. Did that. You are so right. Love it. Did that. Did that. Nancy with the jetpack, I'm definitely going to miss. That made this game so magical. Did that. Did that. All done. We cleared out a lot of this. All done. Still have to do that. Go over the lab with a fine tooth comb and find a way out of here. So clearly still working on that. Very vague. Still have to do that. Do everything it says on that checklist. Hit the launch button and keep your fingers crossed. I'm terrified. I have a planning YouTube channel. I always remember a checklist. I love that. Did that. I haven't done that. Okay, so we did this wire puzzle. Breaking news. So now we need to do the fin. Still have to do that. Did that. Okay, the fins. I thought I put the fin on already. This is the nose of the rocket. This reminds me so much of Putt-Putt Goes to the Moon, this little computer game I played when I was a kid. I think you build a rocket at some point. I, I feel like it was this one, wasn't it? Maybe it's not. Let's see. Still have to do that. Yeah, that's not the correct one. Y'all ever just launch rockets? No. <laughs> Mod has a song to sing to you about some cats, a DJ, and some meat. I want to hear this song. Hmm. So if that's not the right fin. I 
thought it was the one with the dot on it. I'm almost positive. Let's see. Can't check that off yet. Let's see. Yeah, red with a white circle. Okay. Maybe it won't let me check that off until I actually launch the rocket. Oh, you're downloading Final Fantasy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nose cone. We got the nose cone. I like that word. We did the wires. Alright, it's time for the launch preparation. Are you guys ready for the finale of this freaking game? I'm scared. I'm actually, like, really scared. I do not launch rockets very often. So I think it's this thing? Insert the key. Ugh, I'm scared. No, I do not. I told him about a joke we had when we were little. Where's the beef? <laughs> That's classic. You were born ready, Lego? Okay, let's let go. Let's literally go. Turn the dial to 90.1. Uh, the angle of the rocket seen on the chalkboard. Flip the left switch. See if it has a green light. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chat. Wow. What? That's the Banshee. He missed the rocket. I can't. Nancy? What on earth is going on? Matt! Kyla, we're trapped down here. Get a ladder or something. <laughs> oh, Matt, I've been so worried about you. Where have you been? I missed you so much. I was afraid I'd never see you again. And I've got so much to tell you. No, I take that back. There's only one thing I want to tell you. I love you. Oh, come Do you on. hear me? I love you. <laughs> By the time Kit came back with a ladder, Kyler had said I love you to Matt approximately 150 times. This one and was Matt wild. had said it to Kyler about 200 times. And they were still saying it to each other on the day of their wedding four days Huge later. Huge cheese. Even Kit remarked that Matt's little misadventure seemed to have been good for their relationship. Needless to say, this bum kid out. Until he met the very this beautiful photo, young Irish woman who catered the reception. Long story the short, Photoshop. it looks like Kit will soon be returning to Ireland, and not just to sketch plans for potential housing developments. As for Mr. Delaney, he still can't accept the fact that the strange wail I kept hearing wasn't a banshee, but an old siren that Matt kept inadvertently setting off down in the tunnels. Interesting. Nor is he clear on the fact that Fiona, whose jetpack was also a source of weird noises, was responsible for many of the strange so Fiona just lived Hito in the castle this whole time. Fairies. But he understood immediately oh my that God. Fiona was someone in need of compassion and helped the police take her into custody without incident. Apparently, after the explosion killed her parents, Fiona was taken in and raised by an old hermit who lived alone in the bog hut, which did not exactly do wonders for the little girl's mental or emotional development. But she's getting lots of attention wow. now, and she's so bright. After all, her father was a rocket scientist. That her prognosis is actually pretty good. No more jetpack. Me, pack. I'm on my way back to the States via jet plane, not jet pack. My pack and Fiona's were quickly confiscated by military types bent on adapting them for use on the battlefield. Wow. Unfortunately for them, Brendan's intricate fuel system has them not completely Nancy's and Pentagon hopelessly era. stumped, which has no doubt made Fiona's crow and all its feathered friends very happy. Hmm. They finally have the skies above Castle Malloy all to themselves. BRB going to Disney via jet plane, not jet pack. Team Rocket is shaking. The Banshee girl single asking for a friend. Love wins. One small step for man, one huge ass rocket for Nancy Drew. Exactly. Yeah, the, the editing that they choose for some of these images is so hilarious. It's part of the camp. These Nancy games are just high camp. Banshee, best girl. What a story. Yeah, that was that was a very interesting one. And I, I like what they did at the end with like very realistic, like elderly character. You don't see that very often placed into care and everything. Which flower was not listed in the book? 
I don't know if that was correct. No, I got it wrong. We didn't do that great chat. It's okay though. Turning the leprechauns round and round. How many times do I need to turn them? Bold use of color. Give the sheep new looks. Get the drink orders filled. I thought I got more of this done. Seeing into the future. The Easter egg. Winning all levels in difference detective. But look, we did the dollhouse. The chemist thing. The jetpack. Pretty basic. When my best friend Bess Marvin wins a vacation for three at a resort on a private island in the Bahamas, she naturally invites me and her cousin George Fain to go with her. But by the time I arrive, the owners of the resort are nowhere to be found, and Bess has been kidnapped. To get her back, George and I must find a long-lost treasure, a quest that brings us face to face with many of the island's strange inhabitants and forces us to risk our lives, both on and in the sea. I haven't played sea. this one. Help us find the treasure before this sun-drenched paradise turns deadly in my next adventure, Ransom of the Seven Ships. Ooh, I like the font. Ransom of the Seven Ships. I like the music. I'm gonna miss the music in this game. Strange octopus. Not the Creed. Creed coming out of nowhere. There's actually an old video of Creed playing a halftime show at the Super Bowl, and they brought out a guy, like a swinging, like acrobatics dancer for that song. Oh my god. <laughs> All the music. Alright, we out. We did it, chat. We beat the game. We beat it. switch over for a sec thank you guys that was so much fun you guys made that even more fun than it would have been normally um that game was fun that took a long time though that was probably all of november i think for us since halloween i just can't believe how quickly that went by and so now our next game is one that i don't think i've played before unless i did when i was younger and i forget but it's called Phantom of Venice, and it takes place in Italy. I know Nancy has to dress up in a cat suit at some point and dance for money, and it's controversial in the fan base. Let me just change my category real quick, just to keep it 100. Cool, Phantom of Venice. Not the cat suit, I know. Yeah, I feel like this game is really funny. A lot of good memes. So hopefully this is more upbeat for us. A good change. The last one was pretty dense. Boggy, even. 92 gig download. How long? Well, JPuff, your computer is probably, like, buff. But I'm gonna guess, uh, an hour? Catsuit? I'm sold. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Exclamation point swamp. All right, I think we're ready. There we are, baby. We're in business. I love Hylian's swamp community. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. I wish if we had Google Fiber. We only have one internet do, option. Oh, that take sucks. Take a look at the book titled How to Be But you have five options, two it's streets over. Helpful, that's weird. Especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my, my... Hopefully we'll change over time. Yeah, seriously. Thanks to Prudence Rutherford, the wealthy socialite whose necklace I helped recover while solving that scarlet hand case a while back, I'm on my scarlet way hand. to Venice, Italy. Apparently, someone there has been dressing up in a mask and cape and stealing valuable pieces of art. The news media call him the Phantom, hmm. not only because of the way he dresses, but because he leaves behind so few clues. Ooh, mundane Prudence collectible. Who loves Venice and belongs to an organization dedicated to okay. preserving the city's I think art, I have a, I think I know what I'm going to do. The thief hasn't been caught yet. So she talked to someone she knows at the GDIF, the Italian version of our FBI, GDIF? into having me help the police Gank in their investigation. Dodd, it's Friday. She arranged for me to stay in Venice in the palazzo she used to own, which now belongs to a well-to-do widow named Margarita Fober. I love a well-to-do widow. Beyond that, all I know for sure is that I'll be working undercover, and as soon as I arrive, the police will send me something that will lead me to my assignment. What it will be, I have no idea. Mods but am I excited? Gifts are wrapped under the tree. Oh, see. 
Oh, see. Control yourself, Nancy. You hid her B-Day gift. Sunny, I know what I'm getting you for your B-Day. I'm so ready. I can't wait. But I can wait, and I will. Um, so, Amanda has redeemed show off a mundane collectible for 10,000 channel points. This is a channel point redemption in which I will find something around my apartment that is extremely mundane and not exciting, and I will show it off to you guys as if it's the coolest thing that I own. And I take a shot of tequila before I do so to hopefully enhance um, the storytelling. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go grab something, and I'm pretty sure I know what, what I'm going to do. So we shall be right back. Let me just, uh, let me put on the break screen for two seconds and I'll be back. I'll grab it. I'll also like, I'll, I'll use the bathroom too. I should stand up. It's been like an hour and a half. All right. I will be right back. Buckle in. It's going to be exciting, but probably not. Okay, sorry, that was a lot of scene transitions. Um, it's not as exciting as you guys think it is. <laughs> Five bucks at selling from TJ's? You're wrong. I want cheesecake, or or you gift a sub? Okay, well you're wrong, because, oh yeah, wait, let me take a shot first. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you what I got. It's not that, it's not that exciting though. Cheers, chat. Cheers to a, a very solid Wednesday. It's Brittany, bitch. Thank you so much for the gift sub. <laughs> Team Tux, if you're out there, you just got hooked up. Are you ready? So this is not sponsored, by the way. This is a, a refill pod for the Glade plug-in device. Very common around all households. Makes any room smell great. This is of the watermelon scent variety. Um, highly potent liquid here. Smells insane. Very good. The long part does go in your nose. Yes. <laughs> um, so here you unscrew the top. I'll give you guys the full unboxing. And this scented wick here. I don't know. <laughs> Camera is not going to like it. Diffuses the scent throughout your the room. Or your apartment in my case. And I have two cats and a cat, a cat litter box. So we have two Glade plug-in things. And by we, I just mean me. I don't know why I pluralized that. But yes, that's my mundane uh, collectible for the day. 
And it's just not a collectible. That word bothers me. I need to rename it. I like to sprinkle some on my toast when I'm feeling fancy. That sounds so horrible. When I am changing these out and I have to touch them, sometimes it makes my hands smell like, like watermelon for days. I have another cat here that I could also show and tell if she'll let me pick her up. Let me see. It's kind of dicey. No, she's already gone. The other cat is shy. She is not very cuddly. So yeah. I hope this brightened your day because it definitely brightened mine to be able to share the joy of good, good scent. We includes cats. Missy doesn't like anybody, Amanda. Don't take that too personally. She's very, uh... She, she even runs away from me, and I've lived with her for three years. Sometimes, if I take one step in her direction, she runs away. But sometimes she comes up and cuddles, so it really just depends on her mood. She's a little picky. The watermelon plug-in. You like that, Sunny? Um, I like watermelon and tropical. Those are my two favorite ones. It's like a pineapple kind of scent. Insert into your nose at your own risk. Yeah, so this is my uh, Flonase. <laughs> my Flonase medication. Alright. Let's do this. You said- I thought you said she's a little piggy? I do call her a little piggy sometimes. She's such a cutie. Alright, let's go to Italy, guys. From Ireland to Italy. Oh, we have our dictionary. Alright. <laughs> let's be honest with ourselves. Here we go. Okay. Let me know about the sound levels too, because every game is different, so I can always fix it. Where am I? Oh no. Not like this. Oh no! Well, Nancy, things are not looking good. What the heck happened? This case started out so well. I mean, what could be better than waking up in Venice, Italy? Not the flash forward. Look, I have 200 coins. I like the graphics. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up here. <laughs> Seriously. BRB gonna make cup of noodles? Jealous. That sounds good. What's all this? An interactive guide to Venice. Gelato. Okay. Canals. Did this just say the Doge's Palace? I'm, I know that's not how you pronounce that, but still. Perhaps? What is this? Mm -hmm. Cool. So what's this? My outfit? Interesting. And perhaps... What's this? What's this? So I can't open any of that. That's my roommate stuff. Mine's on the other side of the room. You guys literally share a room? Oh, this this is way too crowded for my taste. I don't feel like going to bed yet. Let's see, what should I wear? Okay, so you can dress Nancy. That's kind of cool. Oh, this looks just like my little makeup bag. Look at all these ba chaotic bobby pins. I'm dead, I feel so seen. Rain hoodie all day. Can't, like, mess with any of this, though. Interesting. Um... Where's the sunglasses? <laughs> some flats. Alright. We're dressed. Horribly, but we're dressed. So I can't look at my roommate's stuff. Is this her? Venice is so beautiful this time of year. Hilde, Hilda? I found some lovely mosaics that I picked up from a friend. I'll send them your way once I find some time. 
Ooh. Oh, can I do the thing? Translate? No, it won't let me translate it. Who knows? Aw, this is 99 lift balloons. <laughs> Cute. Okay. So not much here for us to like look through yet. We have no numbers. I got 99 luff balloons, but Nancy ate one. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh, this is nice. Kind of creepy though, because I feel like we're gonna see some we're gonna see some stuff here. But this is an incredible view. It makes the roommate situation tolerable. Chocolates? Anybody? Mm. I'm just gonna eat them all. Mm. Okay, Nancy, calm down. We ate all the chocolates, chat. Can't tell if we were supposed to do that or not. But I keep missing all these trophies. I'm tired of it. All these achievements. There's gonna be like a chocolate chewer one. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, Nancy chews. Sunny June. It won't let me uh, translate. I see poetry slams here. How long do you think your download is gonna take, J-Puff? What's your guess, by the way? Oh, I guess it tells you, huh? Never mind. Um. Okay. All of that's in German. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, you must be the American Margarita mentioned. I'm Colin Baxter. I'm Nancy Drew. American Margarita. If you're looking for Margarita, she's up on the Altana, the rooftop garden. What are you doing, if you don't mind my asking? Right now, I'm restoring this 14th century mosaic, which means, without getting overly technical, I'm cleaning the tesserae that remain in place, repairing those that have been damaged, and replacing those that are missing mm. with new ones custom crafted to match. All night, if I had to guess. I really noticed my internet being slower at night. Oh, that sucks. It sucks that you have to wait so long. Ooh, you're getting Thai food? Now I'm super jealous. Oh, hello, handsome. I'm dead. I can't. Um, Nancy's already, like, asking too many questions. She didn't... I didn't click it, but it said, um... Uh, what did it say? Where are you from? Not a good opener when you're just meeting someone. And is Margarita paying you to do this? She's trying to get too much info. It's weird for me to see so much German in an English stream. These games, they all take place in a very specific location and they really dive into it. So you'll see a lot of foreign language. Different international references. You can translate for us? Yeah, please, because I'm, I'm struggling. I don't know anything. I really don't actually know any German. Um, but also, isn't this in Italy? Why is there so much German? <laughs> my brain. My brain can't. You kind of lost me at tesserae. Simply put, tesserae are the individual tiles which comprise a mosaic. Sounds like a lot of work. It's a phenomenal amount of work. However, just between you and me, I do this for free. I became fascinated with art in general and mosaics in particular when I was at Oxford. Sonny, I think University. this is the voice actor that's where for I'm from, Nigel. Actually. Nigel Oxford, England. At least that's where I was Sounds born. Sounds just like him. I live here now and intend to do so for a very long while. Although I say that with no small amount of guilt. Why do you feel guilty? People like me and Helena are the reason true Venetians are slowly going extinct. We foreigners come to Venice, fall in love with her, and wind up staying. High demand for food and housing results in high prices, which in many cases means the people who were born here have to leave because they can no longer afford to live here. If I could be granted one wish, it would be to have been born here. Wow. That way I would feel entitled to live here, and I would know how to speak Italian. You don't speak Italian? Much as it shames me to admit it, no. Languages don't come easily to me. And since I am able to do what I do without knowing Italian, you know, I have some slides of various tesserae. Not only are they enormously informative, but hmm. they're also quite beautiful. Would you like to see them? Europeans speak multiple languages, for sure. And he's educated? <laughs> who's who's hotter, J-Puff? The Banshee or this fool? Sure. 
Marvelous. Here we go. I showed now you my tesserae. Please respond. Violet. Okay. If you like indigo, this one's for you. Nice. Lovely shade of scarlet. I adore this shade of crimson. We're really getting into it over here. Magnificent shade of blue. <laughs> Excitement intensifies. The artistry involved in this one is incredible. The banshee got something you never seen Lovely before. Lovely shade of scarlet. I'm dead. How long should I let this go? Lovely shade of scarlet. Okay, he's repeating. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Magnificent shade <laughs> of blue. He just cut me off. <laughs> Phenomenal color. Very cool. This one could have been <laughs> plucked off a lemon tree. Very cool. Awesome. Mm, looks like it was carved from amethyst. Sound command. <laughs> Shades of blue. Such a delicate hue. Mm, this guy needing out. Mm, looks Nerding like it out. was carved from amethyst. I think I've seen enough. Very well. Shades of blue. I thought I had at long last found a kindred spirit. Someone who shared my passion for beauty, for art. But you apparently are like everyone else. Interested only in what something is worth instead of what it offers the soul. We've known each other for no, no, two please. minutes. I'd stay, but I really do need to be somewhere. Believe me, I think what you're doing is fascinating. And you obviously really know your stuff. In fact, that figurine in front of you, I've been dying to ask you about it. It's exquisite. What, this statuette? Yes, it is exquisite. It's an example of late Etruscan bronze work, no doubt cast some 2,200 years ago. I'm not sure how Margarita came to own it, but she's very fortunate. She's the thief. It's almost impossible Call to find me. bronzetti of this quality outside a museum. You see, after they conquered the Etruscans, the ancient Romans Margarita built down villain. thousands Call upon it. thousands of statues like this just so they could make coins. Interesting. Shoot, I wish I had time to hear more. No, 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 no. You go on. We can talk more later. Oh, a parcel was just delivered. Yeah, this guy's for you. way it's too by much. The door. Thank you. He's pretty but jelly. Magnificent shade of jelly. <laughs> Wonderful shade of blue. Gosh, that was a lot. I thought I was just gonna meet somebody. Do I need to use the key on the door? No, wrong door. Okay. Y'all ever just see a wonderful shade of blue? Oh, it's nice. Oh, oh shoot, oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'll get those. Hildegard Killian. You must be my newly arrived roommate. I'm Helena Berg. I'm Nancy Drew. Sorry for all the commotion when I came in last night. My plane got in three hours late. No need to worry about waking me up. I can sleep through almost anything. But I'm sure you have things to do and places to go, so I won't keep you. By the way, there's a parcel for you in the entryway. Ciao. Hmm. Thank you for the clip. No one of these games has any amount of chill ever. Ever, ever. Miss Nancy Drew, please find and close your bank card. You'll find a convenient automatic teller machine in the piazza. Okay. We got our card. That's nice. A chalice stolen. The nuns awoke to discover the legendary jewel-encrusted chalice is missing. Someone between midnight and 5 a.m. broke in the underground chamber in which the chalice was kept, unlocked the d glass display case, and made off with the ancient relic. Hmm. Interesting. Striking swiftly and silently and leaving no clues behind. The phantom. Cool. Great clip mod, okay. I can't. I am dead. So is there anything else I can do out here? What's this? Oh, wow. So we're up here. Cool. How nice. I wanna take a nap with a cat out here in the sun. 
so... We haven't been this way. She's chilling. Buongiorno. And again, welcome to Carlos See, this Costa. would be me. Big mood. I see you finally decided to get up. I was starting to think you were still in bed. If it's a daytime and it's sunny, no matter the time of year, this is where you will find me. They say the sun gives you wrinkles and worse. And that may be true, but it also makes you tan. <laughs> to me, to be tan is good. Your accommodations, they are to your liking? Her vibe is immaculate. Dang, I can say the room is too quaint. It is very small in there, but I don't know. <laughs> don't want to complain right off the bat. Let's do it. Actually, the room is a little more quaint than I thought it would be. All of Venezia is quaint. Must get used to it. Most tourists think that its decaying walls are what gives the city its charm. You do not mind having a roommate? I mean, I do. Well, sort of. But at least she doesn't snore. I warned Prudence that you would have to share a room, but she said you had to come to Venezia this week and you had to stay here. And as we both know, what Prudence wants, Prudence gets. Prudence. Have you gone outside the car yet? The car? See, my brain goes to Boston when I hear car. Yoshi Tan, I know she really is. Yes, in fact, I have. Steal the shades. Just do not forget to take your key and lock the front door whenever you leave. This is not the Palazzo Grassi, but I do have uh, several valuable pieces Prudence. of art. And with Il Fantasma, this phantom thief running around and stealing everything, I prefer not to take any chances. Steal the whole look, for real. She's wearing a ruffles chip. <laughs> One single ruffles chip. Rigid as hell. How long have you lived here? Almost two years. Two wonderful, but very expensive years. The city expects homeowners like me to maintain these old buildings. But who pays for everything? We do. The Restoration mm. Council gives us nothing, not one single euro. It is criminal. You mean you can't afford it? You miss the point. Just because I can afford to pay does not mean I should. It is the... Uh, principle. It is the principle of the thing. Besides, being rich is something I like. If I am all the time spending money, I will soon be unrich. I'm dead. I'm dead. I met the guy who's restoring the big mosaic in the main room. He's pretty intense. Colin Baxter? Uh, I do not know how any man can find happiness looking at pieces of painted rock all day. Talking to him, it's like taking a sleeping pill. Que barba. Que barba. But they say he is good. And so he works for me. Who are they? Everyone I know. All my friends on castles like this one. And since something hmm. is always in need of repair, we are constantly on the lookout for good workmen. And when we find them, we trade them back and forth like you Americans trade recipes for cookies. Olivia von Helstein raved about the work he did for her. And what is good enough for the Countess of Schlosselbeck the is hue on that more skirt than good enough plucked for off me. a lemon tree. <laughs> Shades of blue. Echo, hello. Good morning, my friend. So nice to see you. Welcome in. We are on a brand new Nancy game. We just started. Hopefully you've been well. Nice to see you as always. The skirt is a magnificent shade of yellow. It's truly vibrant. It really does look like a freaking potato chip, the more that I look at it. I'll talk to you later. Padronissimo. And Nancy. That blouse you are wearing, you should change it. Wow. That was rude. Why don't you buy me some clothes? Lace potato chips are Why shaking. Why are you touching my things? Please, stop. Put that down, you nosy girl. I'm dead. Uh, please, do not read that. Put that down, you nosy girl. Put that down, you <laughs> nosy girl. I'm pretty good. Got my Thanksgiving ingredients ready. Cooking up some stuff tonight, so tomorrow isn't so hectic. Hell yeah. That reminds me I need to make green beans tonight. Gotta do that. What a great way to end a conversation. Yeah, what the hell? She's annoying. <laughs> she really said, I'm rich. You ugly. Being rich is something I like. <laughs> okay. We all have our, our likes in life. More bugs, guys. There's always bugs in these games. 
My mom's cooking. She's cleaning seafood and cooking pies. Yum. I'm lucky I don't have to do anything for Thanksgiving. Just show up. Which is nice. After the work week I've had. Oh. Hello. Hello, is this Nancy? This voice. Miss Rutherford, yes, it's Nancy. How are you? Well, to be honest, I'm rather peeved. Were you or were you not to call me just as soon as you were settled in there at the car? I'm sorry, I should have called. But I've been very busy. And I've been very worried. I was afraid Margarita had allowed my beloved kindness ghost to fall into such a state of disrepair that it was no longer habitable. Oh, no, no. The Definitely a male fine. voice actor, too. Oh, that's a relief. So, how goes the case? Captain Brassica said he was going to send you a parcel. Has it arrived? Yes, it sure has. Good. The sooner you get to work, the better. I talked you up mm. quite a bit, you know. Both the GDIF and the local gendarmerie are expecting great things from you. As am I. No one wants this phantom scoundrel captured more than I do. I'm flattered, Miss Rutherford, and I'll do my best. But it's not like I'm a superhero or anything. Like I told you, I just like solving mysteries. Just see that you solve this one in a timely fashion, dear. We leave on a cruise in two weeks, and I shan't be able to enjoy a second of it until I know all those stolen works of art have mm. been recovered. Tall order. <laughs> Always bugs and explosions, seriously. My mother-in-law purchased Thanksgiving, thank God, but we're hosting. Oh, that'll be pretty, though. You have such a nice kitchen, like, big space to eat, too. And it's nice that you don't have to, like, cook anything. Truly just another day for Nancy. I did a Pokemon D&D &D last week, and this guy was my starter. I always think of you when I see Crow Gunk. Always. That sounds fun, also. The voice actor sounds like something straight out of Monty Python. I know. They reuse her. It's, like, several games that she's come into a... The rotation. Prudence Rutherford is her name. I get the feeling Margarita is not real happy about my staying here at the car. That is just tough tiddlywinks. Putting you up is the least she can do for me after all I've done for her. Tough tiddlywinks? Are you kidding me? Just what have you done for her? I made the mistake of helping her pay for some of the repairs that reared their ugly little heads after I sold her the car. I did so not because of any legal obligation, but because of my abiding affection for the place and all things Venetian. She is such a cheapskate. I feared she would ignore what had to be done until the car crumbled into ruins. Goodness. How did she get to be such a cheapskate? When her husband died, he left Margarita everything, which amounted to a small fortune. What he didn't leave her, however, was even the slightest clue as to what to do with it. And now, after years of bad investments mm. and wasteful spending, she's starting to feel the pinch. But I'm afraid it's my <laughs> erstwhile that residence long breath. there in Venezia that must pay the price for her fiscal ineptitude. Wow. I haven't seen the word erstwhile, like, ever. It's my erstwhile residence. I'll let you get back to whatever it is you're doing. As it happens, I'm writing my memoirs. They shall be called The Principles of Prudence. Unfortunately, this has necessitated my hiring an assistant. You really must stop thinking bad thoughts about Ginger. Yes, you are. Just look how she's shaking. The other day, poor Ginger mistook the shapeless lump of leather my assistant called her purse for a doggy toy and ripped it to shreds. She's still a bit perturbed. Although, believe you me, Ginger did her a massive favor. Anyway, if you ever cannot reach me, it means we are hard at work. The bun chance. She is a lot. She is a lot. Okay. So let's see. They said there's a parcel for me. I don't think I've gone this way. Oh, it's the bathroom. Fight the shower. Fight the shower? Oh, like fight the power. I get it. That's funny. That's a final scene reference. Fight the power. Alright, so Nancy can take a shower. Cool. By parcel, did they just mean the little... The note? I love the references too. It's really cute. This whole series is so well done. There's not a lot of games that can make so many 
installments and have them all connect and be so cohesive. Hello, Nancy. Do you live here at the car? No, I have a room in a building on the other side of the Grand Canal, a very small room. But I spend so much time here and so little time there, I suppose technically I do live here. This is a good time for me to tell everybody that these games, a lot of them are like $7 on Steam on a good day, and there's a sale right now. So if you've ever wanted to play your own little mystery game on PC at home, now is a good time to go check it out. I'll let you get back to work. What's his name? What's whose name? The bloke who gave you that locket you're wearing. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ned. Goodbye, Nancy. Ew, what? That was so weird. I'm like, all right, see you later. What's his name? Okay, bye. Goodness gracious. Hello, Nancy, right? So, how do you like Venice? Oh, it's incredible. I think Venice is the most fascinating city in the world. Its history, its art, its layout, everything about it is so rich and so beautiful and says so much about human ingenuity. I absolutely love it. Looking forward to future interactions and cell vibes. What is his name? Have you ever thought about living here? I have indeed. In fact, every time I come here, I make an effort to meet new people. Having friends is very important to me, you see? But I don't want to move here until I can afford my own palazzo. So, until that day, I shall have to hmm. content myself with staying here wherever I can and as often as I can. How long have you been coming here? I've been coming here ever since I was about your age. I always try to stay somewhere different. I'm a journalist. Right now, I live in Hamburg because that's where the offices of your event magazine are. Mm. I do most of my oh, writing. Oh, so this them. is why all of the but stuff on her I desk know far is in German. I more about Venice than I do about Hamburg. She's from Hamburg. In fact, I know more about Venice than most Venetians do. I know where the best souvenir stands are, oh, the nice. nicest glass shops. Yeah, I'll make you a list of the cheapest cafes. No, no, that's okay. You don't need to do that. You don't want to know where the cheapest cafes are? Are you sure you're American? I'm dead. I'm just not into touristy things, that's all. I see. Oh, but you could tell me what your very favorite spot in Venice is. I'd love to know that. Oh, well, let me think. That would have to be Campo San Paolo. There's something, I don't know, something very avant-garde about it that's quite charming. Are you sure you're American? Uh... So what do you think about all this phantom thief stuff? I probably shouldn't say this. But I think it's great. A caped figure darting down walkways beside moonlit canals, melting mist-like into the shadows, escaping not with stolen <laughs> money, but stolen art. It's all just so wonderfully... Venetian. You condone what he's doing? No, of course not. It just captures the imagination, that's all. As far as crime sprees go, this fun is rather refreshing. Il Fantasma <laughs> hasn't physically hurt Refreshing anyone, crime. And has some very interesting ideas when it comes to what's worth stealing. In fact, it's altogether possible this phantom could turn out to be a woman. It's the Ooh, old lady, I'm telling that you. That would be a story I'd write for free. Because she needs money. The guy behind me said that she has a statue that's very rare. He doesn't know where she found it. I don't know. She could be sneaking out. Minty fresh crime. Since you're a journalist and you're right here, aren't you tempted to write a story about this phantom thief person? As a matter of fact, I am writing a story for your vault. So, have you dug up anything juicy? This case is so huge, the police are swamped. Apparently, they've got people coming in from all over the world to help track down leads. My contacts at the police station are too busy to give me the time of day, let alone a juicy tip. However, one of my non-police sources just told me something very interesting. He said the word on the street is that the next thing the thief steals is going to be a person. What? He's going to kidnap someone? Shanghai. A very wealthy someone. At least, that's a rumor. That's a pretty specific rumor. Do you talk to Colin Baxter very much? I try to talk to him, but he's so focused on his work. Having a decent conversation with him is virtually impossible. Once, out of politeness, I feigned an interest in what he was doing, and the next thing I knew, he was showing you his test race He's slides. like right behind yes. us, we're talking about him. They went on and on and on! It was nightmarish. I felt like a seabird that had landed in an oil slick and couldn't fly away. The only way I could escape was to confess that I found the slides less than fascinating. 
which hurt his feelings terribly, I'm afraid. But it couldn't be helped. Yeah, the same thing happened to me. The man is obsessed. I wish she would say, I can hear shame, you. Really. What's After his name? All, he's not bad looking, and there's a touch of intrigue about him. Oh dear. What do you mean? Once, while he was working, his cell phone rang. He immediately left the room to take the call, but as he was leaving, he picked up by saying, this is Justin, not Colin, Justin. This girl's got all the tea, you guys. We have another Nancy here to help us. She's out here listening to people's phone calls. He's using a fake name? Either Justin or Colin. One of them's fake. I'll come back later, okay? It's been a pleasure. Pretty look it. Thank you. My boyfriend gave it to me. Boyfriend? You do have it all, don't you, Nancy Drew? Wow. <laughs> I don't have words. He is hideous. You're gonna have some competition? Yeah, let's take a look. Hello, Nancy. I don't know. He looks like if Penn Badgley starved himself and bleached his hair. And went through some kind of, like, AI filter. <laughs> uh. I need to get going. Cheerio! Colin or Justin. Speaking of bleaching their hair, are you gonna do it, J-Puff? I guess parcel, the parcel they wanted me to get was this thing here. So I think we should just roll out. Let's see. Campo San Polo is where she told us to go. One of her favorite places. Let's go check it out. I'm Guy Fieri and we're, we're rolling, rolling out. out. Looking for America's greatest diners, drive-ins, and dives. Mid-December? So exciting. I can't wait to see. So this is her spot. If you're here for the dance audition, take a look at the dance instruction book. When you think you're ready, put the cat suit on and get on stage. Oh, if you're good enough, you can keep God. the suit and come by anytime you want and dance some tips. Oh, and if you're not here for the audition, beat it. I can't. Is this a plague doctor mask? What is happening? Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. Why did they make his voice? And a one. And a two. Chat. Oh my god. I don't have words. Woohoo! They like the whistle. <laughs> Hit the ocarina. <laughs> ocarina of crime. Mod, can we go to Venice? Oh my god, this one kills me. The broken elbow. Awful. Oh my god. I don't think wonderful. Tough crowd. I'm dancing for tips, Echo. Uh, uh. I don't think good. I need to win them back. You're awful. Not bad. Off my stage now. Dang. And don't even think about taking that costume with you. How rude. How did this make it into a children's game? Yeah, what even are these dance moves? This is peak Venice culture. Cursed content. Let's try again. And a five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Not the alarm. Oh 
Why haven't they killed me off yet? Chat is living the best life right now. Press the sound. The sound comes from me pushing the buttons. Doesn't it? Let's see. Okay, let's try again. There's definitely a strategy. And don't even think about taking that costume with you. I want to try the plague doctor mask. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. Why does the cat suit have to have like a full body mat or the mask on the, her head? Like, I don't think so. It's a lot. Wonderful. Good job, Nancy. Uh uh. What? The holes for the eyes? Yeah. Awful. Be nice. Okay. <laughs> this move. The shoulders. This is me at the club. Not bad. Woohoo! I go away. Jeez, they turn on me so quickly. And don't even think about taking that costume with you. You Americans will never understand fashion. Animal Crossing moves are better than Nancy, that is true. This is hard. But I think we're and getting five, better. Six, seven, eight. No, no money yet. Good. I'm going by the sounds, like you said. I'm still auditioning. I haven't even passed the audition. You're awful. This guy is not good for my self-esteem. Wow. Wow. Terrible. Bad. What's this one? Terrible. Damn it. Wonderful. This is a lot of pressure. And don't even think about taking that costume with you. Maybe there's tips here. Let's read. Dance instructions. You like how I did that without even reading the instructions that are right here? You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. I can't believe this game just jumps right in to go-go dancing. <laughs> yeah, it's like meet everybody and then dance on stage. Which cue goes with which move? If, you're, if ever you're dancing to a cue and a new one plays, switch to the newest. Okay. All right, so here's a list of the cues. I can't with this. She looks like, it's this like diet Walmart Batman. The monkey, fuzzy bell. This game is gonna break my brain. What is a fuzzy bell? Oh, is it playing the sound right now? I can't really, yeah, how is a bell fuzzy? The collapse, okay, the color cues. I was looking at the colors as well. Click the sound button. Okay. I know we have someone from Germany in the chat, and this sounds just like rave music to me. This sounds like Berlin to me. Techno. That's a fuzzy bell if I've ever heard one. Yeah, I don't think that this, like, it's giving German raves, it's not giving fuzzy bell. Alright, I'm gonna have to remember that that's the bell. But we also have the color. The claps, we got that. Wait, what was that move called? The cheer. Then we have the ocarina. 
Which sea kid? Oh no. The whistle. The fens. Clue kid. Robot. Oh, the buzzer. I thought that meant I was messing up. This is an actual sound cue. Siren. The the bob. <laughs> Give him the fens. Laser. We love a laser. All right, let's try again. And the one, and the two. close there for a while. All the sounds started over. And don't even think about taking that costume with you. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm undeterred. taking that costume with you. It's hard. This is definitely hard. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Oh. Uh, you're terrible. Check. Go to the ATM machine at the piazza. Okay, we can do that. I know he said it so he's so mean. Goodness. At the Rialto market, is that where I'm going? Let's go check it out. Let's walk off the shame. Get off the stage. Okay. Bird seed. Flowers. What's that? Oh, that's the bug repellent. We'll take it. We're gonna need it, I know it. Flower seeds. Beer? Nancy's drinking and dancing in this game? What does that say? Infused? This is some THC drinks? What is this? Better than Jetpack Castle Love Sim? <laughs> Iconic track? You used to have these on your iPod? Aw. Gelato chat, that looks yummy. Oh. 
Um, the piazza? Isn't that where I'm going? Yeah, let's go. What? Luigi to Matteo Bruni and Raimondo? What? Hmm. So I guess to cross the water? Is that why it costs so much? Is that what's happening? Let's just do Luigi. I have no idea what's happening. Here we go. Self-recorded? Aw. That's adorable. I remember those days. Good thing you earned some coin from dancing. I didn't earn anything. I didn't even make the team. That was tryouts. I failed. But it's okay. More bird seed. Here's our ATM machine. I need a card. I was dancing for free and being yelled at. It was actually a pretty bad experience. Uh, crime dossier. What is this? That what kind of ATM is this? All information below is confidential. Use discretion when discussing this case with anyone other than your contact. This is sketchy. This is very sus, yeah. Okay, so these are the things that have been stolen. After you read this, you will be provided with a pair of binoculars and a PDA. Using the binoculars, you will watch Antonio Fango. Am I playing Hitman? A suspect in the recent thefts attributed to the Phantom. The window of his office is in the Argonne building can be clearly seen from the rooftop of... That's where I live, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so at the rooftop, I need to use my binoculars. Surveillance team at the entrance to the Argon building will page you via the PDA whenever Fango enters. An audio signal will alert you to his arrival. Oh, cool. Th I love the game Hitman. This actually reminds me of it a lot. Oh, goodness. June 1st, we got a Gemini on our hands. Kicked out of Politencio Tesla for cheating. Um, the Doja's sword. He stole Doja's sword. My credit card points don't give me these kinds of benefits. In Hitman, did you wear catsuit too? No, I wish. Um, at once a week, he buys an assortment of chocolates. I wonder if that has anything to do with the chocolates that I was chowing down on. Interesting. Okay, we did it. We have our binoculars and we have our PDA. This is cool. Um. Ciao, this is Nancy Drew. Yes, is this Detective Leporace? Si, but please, to you I am just Sophia. I'll remember that, Sophia. Why do you call? I can be watching Fungo. He's not in his office. I know. I just wanted to make sure this PDA thing works. It is from the GDAF. Military equipment is good. But you are smart to test it, Nancy. And you are good to help us. We are very short-handed. Carnevale keeps the police very busy. Mm, I just hope I can help. Remember, when you have seen Fungo do something of interest, call me. Ciao. Cool. Why do you call Nancy? This kiosk could come in handy if I ever need any reference books. Cool. Looks like we can only buy a few different options here. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Alright, let's go back home. We'll take a different route back home, even. I still don't know why it made me select Luigi that other the first time. Do do do, That's my pager. Antonio Fongo is in his office. Time to go to work. All right, so we go up to the rooftop. Right? I guess probably my room. Through here. Mm. 
No. It says visible from the rooftop. Okay, so... I guess out here. Hmm. Let's see. Nothing in my messages. This way, that's right. Okay, here we go. Using my binoculars right next to this lady who hates me. Ooh, this is cool sneaky spy stuff. Nancy, what are you doing? <laughs> Bird watching, studying the architecture, or spying on someone. What if, like, what if Nancy just says, spying on someone? Should I hit it? You are going to believe this. Just be real. Spying on someone? Davvero? <laughs> oh, she totally ignored it. I don't know what Davvero means. Probably Italian for this bitch. <laughs> Okay, he's drinking coffee. Not very exciting. I wonder how long I should watch for. Oh, we have a pigeon. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, the pigeon's bringing him something. This is why the bird seed is everywhere. Interesting walk there. I am bird watching, yeah. I'd better go somewhere private and call Sophia. Nancy, what are you doing? He removed something from the pigeon's leg. You are positive? Yes, he removed something, kind of studied it, then left the office. Maybe he is using a trained pigeon to communicate with someone. Yes, this could be true, because we know that by phone he talks to almost no one. Hmm. Here is what we will do. I will deliver to you a tracking device. You will sneak into Fango's office when he is not there and feed it to the pigeon. After that, you can use your PDA to see in what direction it has flown. You want me to feed a tracking device to a pigeon? It will be very, very PETA tiny, would like to have a bird. I do not want to leave it at the ATM. If you go there too much, people will get suspicious. So we will leave it for Ooh, you in the costume, costume store. store in Campo Santa Maria Famosa. It will be hidden among the things there. You will have to find it. How will I know what it looks like? Very soon, I will send a picture of it to your PDA. Oh boy. But you must locate the device quickly. If you do not find it in time, it will destroy itself. If that happens, we will hide another device. Your PDA will show you where we have hidden it. Interesting. You want me to feed a tracking device that self-destructs to a pigeon? The self-destruct mechanism will automatically deactivate when you pick it up. And Game finished. Worry. Took one hour. I knew it. Love that. Are you going to play it right won't. now? Well, then I guess I'm on my way to Campo Santa Maria Formosa. After you have fed the tracking device to the pigeon, you must do two things. You must find out where the pigeon goes when it leaves Fongos, and you must discover what it is carrying. Mm. Call me when you know these things. Ciao. Cool. I kind of like these little missions. Working for the government. Ciao. You'll keep it on the background? Thank you. It's exciting. Have you played the original? This is a remake, right? Let's go check out this costume store. Let's see. She said she was going to text a picture of what we needed. The pigeon bug? Just looks like a pill. All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh, they have the mask from um, the New Orleans game. I love that. How do I... Uh... What? It just... Well, I saw it there. I didn't know I could... I just bought shoes. I hate it. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> I saw the little white tablet sitting there. Sorry, Sophia. Nancy, you have tracked the pigeon. No, but Please, I... Please, Nancy, I'm very busy. Do not call me until you have done what I told you to do. Retrieve the tracking device. 
feed it to Fongo's pigeon. Find out where it goes and see what it is carrying. Try to hang up I'm on her sorry, as a power move. Right now, that is Won't all I want to know. Ciao. I thought I just saw the pill self-destruct in front of my eyes. Cause like, if I click on something, I'm gonna buy it. Nothing over here. Does that mean I need to like, buy things to find it? Is that what's going on here? I don't like that. I'm gonna run out of money. Hmm. What are these? Will it tell me? Oh, these are my looks. Those are all my clothes. Um. I'm just so confused, though. Because she said it would self destruct, so if it did that, then. How would I. I can't read this! <laughs> Nancy, please. There's a little plume of smoke over here. Doesn't look like there's anything I can click on. Let's see. I haven't done that. Check. Did that. I hope they're not hiding it behind, like, merchandise I need to buy. That's all I really hope. How annoyed is she going to be if I call her again? Sophia! I can't find it. <laughs> she literally is not even going to answer for me. So, Itchy, I'm sorry, and you're going out to dinner, Itchy. She said it would be among the things, but I... Clicking on it buys it. I'm terrified. Are they really gonna make me buy everything to find it? That can't be. There's no way. We need to get that dancing job. Let's see. Oh, we need to call Ned? Okay. Let's go back home. So these guys will sing us a song, I think? Sunny, did you have this on your iPod too? Self-recorded? The extra charge. That was the cheapest one, too. They probably just get better. I'm imagining her interactive employees recording it. Having so much fun, probably. We have to get this job. I think they're gonna make me buy all those clothes. When the music starts, you start. I can't stand this guy. That's the fuzzy bell. Wow! Good! Okay! Thank <laughs> you. 
Still some rough edges though, so take that costume home and practice. What's your name? Uh, Nancy? <laughs> Nancy? Forget it. From now on, your name's uh, Punchy. Punchy LaRue. But. Next! Punchy LaRue. Alrighty then. At least we have a way to make money now. So, how do we just. I can't dance without my costume. How do I... I did, Sunny. I did. I finally did. I guess I have to put on the costume somewhere else, like at home, and then show up in it. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. I get it. Getting ready for bed. Distracted? No, we totally did it. We did it. Listening to the sound cues really is the key. This is my horrible outfit right now. I can't put this on. It's kind of weak sauce. I can't dance without my costume. So there's nowhere to change here. That's weird. All right, let's head back home so I can call. Let's call all the homies. I didn't realize I have their phone numbers this whole time. Oh. Oh! <sighs> Margarita got twice the amount she paid for the urn. What? Did she just kill me with an urn? That was so random. Was I just supposed to run when I saw the leaves? How am I- what? I catch it? <sighs> How am I supposed to avoid that? What the heck? I turn around? Hi, Misty. I can't click anywhere. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god. Like, is there an item that I need to get out really quickly? What would it be? I don't have anything. I can't get away. <laughs> but I can't even go backwards. I feel like I'm just stuck. Do I hit no to try again? Maybe the way's just blocked. If I hit try again, if I hit no, isn't that just gonna... If there's no directionals. Up. Oh, I can look up. Okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> KMS. I hate getting soft locked. I need to look this up. Let's see. Falling urn. This is why I don't do senior detective. These games are painful. I do wait for it to fall. The same thing happens. If I just stand here. <laughs> Let's see. It says... Quickly move your mouse towards the bottom of the screen and click... Click when a backup sign appears. Okay, we did it. Just some maneuvering. That was really sketchy and random and so stressful. Okay. Woo! Now let's go see why something fell on us. What's that about? I'm too far away to see anything. Can't see without my glasses. Come on, Nancy. Well, it won't let me use them, which is weird. Maybe I'm not, I don't need to right now.
Hmm. Put that down, you nosy girl. You look upset. A big urn fell off the roof and almost hit me as I was coming in. It fell from this roof? Mava! The edge of the roof must have crumbled out from under it. Something else to repair. Bella Fare! I am glad you are all right, of course. Of course. You guys think she tried to kill me? I kind of think that she did. My roommate, Helena Berg, does she stay here a lot? This is the first time. I met her at a party which Rosetta del Bene gave. When Elena found out where I lived, she practically begged me to let her stay here. And with Rosetta standing right there, well, I could not say no. Why was she so insistent about staying here? She said it was because the Nas Costa is so centrally located. Which it is. I'll troque. But I think it was because I am so centrally located. Hmm. She is what you call a social climber. Always asking me about parties. When they are, where they are, who is invited, what should she wear. You can whose see name it, me too. should she say to get in? Que schifo! The upper class of Venezia is close to outsiders. Elena is full of volio, this is true, but she will never be one of them. Maybe. Us. Us? Like, what does that even mean? I'll let you get back to your sunbathing. Bella Roba. Bella Roba. Okay, so yeah, they really want me to go do this pigeon thing, but I'm stressed because I don't understand it. See if this lady has anything to say. I forget her name. I know the lady up top is Margarita. So, what's going on? What made you decide to stay here this trip? I met Margarita at a party last October. And when she heard I was going to need a place to stay when I made this trip, she practically begged me to stay here. She begged Helga? you? Did she ever? Hil is it Hilda? She's lonely and quite insecure. Hilda? I don't she know how to She wants to believe that. she has lots of friends Hilde? in high places, but they're not her friends. Not really. And I think deep down she knows that, poor thing. I should get going. Come back anytime. Hello, Nancy. I've kept you long enough. Come back anytime. All right, let's call Ned and Bess and everybody, whoever they give us in this game. Okay. Oh, just Ned. I kind of already missed that cute pub from the last game, making phone calls in that little phone booth. Hi, Ned. Or should I say, buongiorno? Hey, Ned. I was hoping you'd call. Where are you? I'm in Bayport, staying at Frank and Joe's, just like you arranged. You sound funny. What's wrong? My research is going great. It's just that, well, in order to get over to the hospital library, I've been having to take the bus. What happened to your car? Joe happened to my car. Oh, oh no. He's been tinkering with it? If by tinkering you mean disassembling the engine and possibly the transmission and strewing the parts all over that closet in the basement he calls his workshop... Oh, wow. Yes, he's been tinkering with it. Ned, I told you. I said whatever you do, don't let Joe do any tinkering. I, I didn't know that's what you meant. He said he knew exactly how to fix that funny noise my car's been making, so I said great. I thought he knew what he was doing. He does know what he's doing. It's just gonna take him like half a century to do it. But hey, you're taking mass transit. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm fine. And I'm sure my car will be fine too. So how's it going there? Yeah, what's up with this? all this locket talk? Everyone I've met in this game has been talking about the locket. Hey, before I forget, thanks again for the locket. I haven't taken it off since you put it on me there at the airport. Good. That was kind of the idea. I just wanted you to have a little reminder of home. Well, more specifically of me. Aww. I don't need any reminders, Ned, but thank you. That is weird. It really is beautiful. Even the guy I sat next to on the plane over here who played solitaire the whole way liked it. It passed the semi-neurotic but otherwise thoroughly impartial geek test? Yes! That was so specific. She's gonna lose it? Yeah, something's gonna happen with the locket, I would think. But... Um, in the last game, I thought the crows would be more significant, and they didn't end up being important at all. Because they just always appeared when something bad happened. The palazzo where I'm staying, the Canas Costa, has some beautiful artwork in it. 
some of which is being restored by this guy from England, who's kind of a head case. A head case? How so? He's your typical temperamental artist, very sensitive. You have to be real careful what you say and do around him or he'll go off on you. And he forces everyone who talks to him to watch the slideshow on mosaic tiles that is boring beyond belief. And your point is... Maybe he's deliberately making people avoid him because he's doing something he doesn't want anyone to know about. Or maybe he's just clueless. Which reminds me. Hey, Joe. Frank called while you're out in the garage. Said to remind you to pick up the basketball tickets. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot. Thanks. Sorry, Nancy. Where were we? Hmm. I'm sharing a room with a woman from Germany who's a journalist. Okay, so she's my roommate. makes me kind of nervous. Why does that make you nervous? Because journalists are kind of like detectives. They're observant, they ask questions, they snoop. And you're afraid she'll find out you're working for the GDIF. Exactly. And Nancy as working long as for the government? Toes, it's kind of epic. The last thing anyone's going to think you are is an undercover cop. Trust me. Want to know what my assignment is? You bet. I'm supposed to do surveillance on a guy named Antonio Fongo. Surveillance? Wow. The police suspect he has something to do with the thefts being attributed to the Phantom. They page me every time they see him go into his office so I can watch him through binoculars from the roof of the place where I'm staying and report in if he does anything suspicious. So has he done anything suspicious? If you call receiving messages carried by pigeons suspicious, then yes, he sure has. He's using pigeons to communicate with someone in this day and age? Well, if he is up to something and thinks the police may be tapping his phone, which they are, it actually kind of makes sense. It just sounds so... Messy? That's the word. Margarita Fulberg, the woman who owns the place where I'm staying, is a little strange. How so? She's not very nice to me. Well, you did make it sound like this Prudence person. Prudence Rutherford. She's this very wealthy lady I've helped out a couple of times. You did make it sound like she kind of shoved you off onto Margarita. Maybe Margarita resents it. I guess that could be it. You think something else is going on? Yeah, I don't know what, but I kind of do. Well, you've got good instincts, Nancy. Follow them. Time to get back to work. Tell Joe I said hi, okay? I'll let him know you called and tell him what you've been doing. Take care. Bye. Hmm, so Ned doesn't give me the option for any hints. And this pigeon bug. She's not helping me. Maybe it's not in the costume store. Rialto Market. Alright, let's just go back and try again. We don't really have a choice. Oh, Rialto Market? It's because I was at the wrong place, probably. Alright, let's get another song. Here we go. La donne mobile, qual più mal vento, muta da cento e di pensiero. Sempre un amabile, leggiado viso, impianto in riso e menzognero. La donne mobile, qual più mal vento, muta da cento. So worth it. E di pensier, e di pensier, e di pensier. Wow. He really gave that his all for five euro. All right, it's hidden among the things. I'm scared. Help. How come I can't click on anything? Over here? Like, what are these little puffs that I'm seeing? Like, you only have so long to find it or something? I can't read this. Oops, I didn't mean to. All right. I hate these games when like everything you touch costs money. <sighs> Too realistic. 
Can't check that off yet. You know, this one says it's at the costume store. We need to take a break from uh, paying for songs. We're gonna go broke. We have to, we're gonna have to do some dancing. Let's see if we can find it again. Like what? Honestly. Yeah, nothing changes when I start buying things. She's not helping me at all. So the location changes, I guess? Let's see, let me look at the message. Yeah, kiosk at the piazza. Okay, so every time it'll change. Okay, the kiosk. We're gonna find it this time. Oh my god. Oh, I found it! Hell yeah. Cool. Alright, so... Sneak into his office? Where is his office, anyway? Alright, let's try to figure it out. If we can see it from where we live, it's probably this one, I would think. Argon building. All right, here we are. Looks like I'm going to have to pick this lock somehow. I have all those bobby pins at home. That's probably what I need to do. I feel like that's what Nancy would do. A tutelier. We can also change our outfit since I bought some clothes rather impulsively. Let's totally wear this. This fit is much better. Absolutely killing it. Perfect. And we got some bobby pins. We're ready to hit the streets. <laughs> Let's go. Pick and locks. They're gonna make me do it. So I have to get them all, all the way up probably. It's a tough one. Or is it opposite? Maybe I have to get the lines like flush.
Whoop, we did it. Ooh. This is a... Okay, hello. Take this pill. He won't eat it. Uh, am I supposed to be, like, looking at stuff? The pigeon's not eating the thing. This is an emergency. Oh, maybe I need to buy the birdseed with it. Okay. Let's see, I think the market had a birdseed thing. Yeah. Got our bird seed. We've spent 180 euros just in the short time I've been playing this game. I guess I could have gone straight home from there. Mm, 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 mm. Alright. I'm being very empty-brained, because I don't need to go home. We're going to the guy's office. That's why I went the route I was going. Okay. I have to pick the lock again. Mamma mia. Potatoes! Hello, my friend! Nice to see you! Did I sneak the pill in there? We're feeding a tracking device to a pigeon. Okay, now I need to get out of here, probably. Oh my gosh! Bongo's coming back! What do I do? Hey, che diavolo fai qui? How am I supposed to escape? Look at this like prison. You have to be smuggled out of the country dressed as a goat herder? What's the best way to get out of there? Jump out the window? Oh my gosh, Bongo's coming back! Do I check the messages? My pager goes off. Hey, che diavolo fai qui? Pain. <laughs> they let me keep the PDA up. That's hilarious. Um, I need to think about how to escape here. I'm out at the bar for Blackout Wednesday. Just want to pop in and wish you and yours a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, potatoes. I had a feeling you would be out today. It's like the busiest bar day of the year. I hope you're having fun. Oh my gosh, Bongo's coming back! Can you please have a shot for me? I would appreciate. Where am I supposed to hide in here? In here. Oh, we're. Oh. We hiding. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving as well, potatoes. Uh oh. I feel like I'm playing Outlast. We're stuck in here for a bit. Vieni, vieni qui, piccioncino. Vieni, vieni. Vola, vola. Okay. I think we're good in here. Let's track where the pigeon goes. Isn't that what this would be? All right, maybe we should just leave. Oh. Interesting. <clears throat> Binary. Time to use my Italian dictionary. Mm -mm. 
Okay, so, okay, got it. This is in track mode? I wonder what the arrows mean. Nothing's happening. Maybe it'll beep again when something happens. Alright, let's sneak out. Goodness. Okay, so now only two of the, these arrows. Another package? Chocolates? Mm. And I want you both to know that I am very sorry if that American girl is about She's talking me. crap about me. It was not my idea for her to stay here, believe you me. Yikes, they're talking about me. I shouldn't listen. You should she listen. She doesn't bother me, nor me. In fact, I rather like her. But I'm going to anyway. <laughs> this is because she spends most of her time on the roof bothering me. She is always up there looking through binoculars. She says she is a spying on someone. A teenage girl spying on someone. That is what she said. Come now, Margarita. I hate that Nancy's a teenager. It's so unrealistic. This could be Working for the government in Italy? Like, come on now. If she bothers you, you tell me and I will tell her. Oh, she's fine. She's quite fine, actually. If you change your mind, you'll know where to find me. Margarita is big rude. So, I noticed someone got a box of chocolates. You perhaps? From a secret admirer? They're not for me. They're for someone named Il Dottore. I thought that was someone's special name for you. How disappointing. Especially since I was going to ask you if I could have a piece. Hmm. I'm starving. I hope that's not what the pigeon was taking, delivering the chocolates. Do you have a carnivale costume yet? No, but I have been invited to several parties. So I'm definitely going to get one. I've got this strange urge to dress up as a cat. Okay. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Come back anytime. Hello, Nancy. Do you know who that box of chocolates in the entryway is for? No, I didn't really look at it because I assumed it was for you. It's not? No, it's for someone named Il Dottore. Oh, I was afraid, I mean, I assumed they were from that locket fellow of yours. He loves Nancy. Il Dottore. Wonder who that A could teenage be. girl dancing for tips, exactly. It's dark. This game is pretty dark. What are you going to be for Carnivale this year? Working, that's what I'm going to be. Damn. I haven't been invited to any festivities, which is just as well because I detest costumes. So to Carnivale, I say, bah humbug. I'll be working. I'll let you get back to work. Cheerio! Okay, so this thing... I guess it means the tracking isn't totally complete. Interesting. Hello again. Do you always wear that locket? Do you like it? It is just that... Uh, well, when one lives in Venezia, one becomes so used to true beauty that anything less tends to stand out like... Uh, dirt on a white rug. She's so rude. I'm not a fan. Tonight's a good night to drink, but I have raids in 20 minutes. Why not both, Echo? You could you could make it happen. Who is Il Dottore? Dottore means doctor. Oh, what doctor are you talking about? There's oh. a box of chocolates downstairs for Il Dottore. Someone must have left them here by mistake. Has anything else for mm. Il Dottore ever been delivered here? I am up here all day. Something gets delivered, something does not get delivered. I do not know. I do not care. Alcohol makes me want to take a nap. Okay, then that's not good. Not good for raids. Will you be dressing up in a costume for Carnivale? Ultra okay. I have fallen in love with Commedia dell'arte. So this year I will dress up as my favorite character, the big-nosed nasty Pulcinella. He and I are so opposite. No one will ever guess it is me. Pulcinella. I'll talk to you later. Good, good. Good. Okay. I mean, we're still waiting on the tracking thing. 
let's go over here. Because I, if I call her, she's probably not going to be happy. Yeah. I guess we're waiting. Alright, let's check out the checklist. Check. Did that. Check. All done. All done. All done. Oh, we need to Still check out to do this that. computer. Can't check that off Use yet. the PDA to figure out where the pigeon flew off to. Okay, so how? How? What does that mean? Can't check that off yet. Okay. Let's try to go back into his computer. I kind of thought about it when we were in his office that we were rushing it. We shouldn't have rushed it. Um, do I still have the bobby pins though? I do. This will be the third time I have uh, picked the lock here. I'm getting darn good at it. All right, let's look at this freaking computer. What? I can send faxes and stuff. How come I can't look at his computer? Kind of creepy. Alright, I thought it might open or do something, but it didn't. Alright, um, here. The garbage can. Cocoa Kringle bars, of course. Here we go. His password. Ooh. Looks like some cards are missing. Just going through all this stuff. <laughs> Kitty. So random. Okay, nothing in here. So I guess I really can't do anything with his desk until I know the password. All done. Oh, the music box? Hmm. Alright, I still don't know how to freaking track the pigeon. It looks like there's more areas open now, though, for me to go, so I guess we can just... Does this mean the pigeon is among us? Not that one. Oops. Try Not that one. Oops. Try again. How would I know? I wonder what this says in English. House of Games? Oh, that's cool. What do you, like, literally play games in here? From the way you are dressed, you are American. Who are you? Uh, my name is Nancy Drew. This is a private club. You cannot Dang. come in. Sorry. 
Okay. Well, I think I understand this pigeon thing now, at least. No songs for us. We're a little broke. Okay, I think they're here. But how am I supposed to know which one? How would you know? Not that one. Nope. Not that one. Not that wrong. Is there a strategy that I'm missing? Oops, try again. Nope, not that. Nope, wrong bird. I can't. Because the mouse doesn't change color or anything. To let you know, like, which bird is which. Nothing special. Wrong bird. Nope. That's not the one. Nope. Nope. Back to drinking. Have a happy Thanksgiving. You too, potatoes. Thank you so much. So nice to see you always. I hope you have a great holiday. Um, hunting pigeons out here. But not like that. It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> Thank you so much, potatoes. Gifted a tier one sub to Literary Cringe. Enjoy. Potatoes, you are an angel. Wrong bird. Nope. Wrong. Not that one. I don't know how you're supposed to know. Like, there's no, um... We don't have, like, any a way to play music or something? Am I supposed to be, like, feeding them bird seed? Would that help my chances? Wrong bird. Oops, try again. That's not the one. Nope. Wrong. You can't. Alright. We haven't even saved yet. Let's, uh, let's put a pin in this game for now. I think we've made a ton of progress today. Next week when we come back, we can figure out this freaking pigeon thing. Um, I'm not gonna get bested by a freaking bird right now. <laughs> but, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my evening, guys. Thank you for uh, hanging out. We beat our game finally. That was like four weeks in the making. And we are very well set now into this one. And we're making good progress. Um, I like how this game throws you right into it. Like, we're, we're already doing spy missions, like, really quickly. So, so far, I'm a fan of this game. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back next Wednesday, guys. And hopefully, I mean, it'd be cool if we could just, like, beat this in one sitting. You never know. I want to go back to that. But thank you. Thank you, Sunny. And Echo, I hope your raids go wonderfully tonight. And J-Puff, I hope you have fun with um, your game. I'm glad it downloaded quickly for you. So yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for everything. And to anyone watching this as a VOD or on YouTube, thank you. Um, have a great holiday for those who celebrate. Or enjoy your day off work. Either or. Or both. And I'll see you guys next week. Um, yeah, nothing else really to report. It should be a normal week next week for me, starting at 2 p.m., just normal. So, yeah.
But thank you guys. Appreciate all of you so much and hope to see you all next week. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Have a great weekend, holiday, Black Friday, if you're going to go out and buy stuff. Whatever you're going to do. Um, but yeah, signing off. We made it to three hours. That went by really fast. All right. Have a good night, guys. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. Bye.